Okay, I'm out on my uh, Farron OS December 2019 build, and I wanted to show you Cleopatra, and we have got it set up, and what I can do with it. Cleopatra is a great uh, little utility, by the way, for encrypting, uh, being able to sign and encrypt and then uh, de-encrypt files. What I've got done is I've set up 2048-bit RSA encrypted system here. I've got a, um, if I go up on Cleopatra, you can see that I have, um, let me pull this down, okay, and uh, I have certified certificate here with my email address, and it is, here's the key ID for the private key. It's up on a server. And it's an imported certificate, valid from 1120 to 1122. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and close this interface, and then I'm going to go out to GFTP, and I'm going to go grab a file, actually a series of files. Let me go ahead and log in to my personal cloud. All right and go up to my Dan storage and here's the 2014 tax return something you probably would like to have encrypted there's lots of files in it and so I'm going to come down to documents double click it here and I'm going to go ahead and download it to my local system and there it is All right, I'm going to go ahead and close this interface here and now I'm going to go ahead and bring up Nemo uh, which is my file manager in uh, Farron open up the documents folder and there it is. If I double click on the 2014 tax return you can see there's bunches of files in here. Okay, it's that stuff you would not want people to be able to easily gain access to. So what I'm going to do is show you how I can encrypt this and so I'm going to bring up Cleopatra again and I'm going to leave it open and I'm going to go ahead and just drag the entire folder with all the contents down into this interface here and select sign and encrypt it brings this information up it's telling me sign as Dan Calloway which is at pm.me encrypt for me I can uncheck that so I can just encrypt without having to sign it but I'm going to go ahead and sign it as well uh, I can encrypt it for others if I want to or I can turn that off I'm going to leave it off now and then I'm going to go ahead and say sign and encrypt and this is going to go ahead and encrypt this with 2048-bit RSA encryption if I put in the passphrase oops let me put the right one in alright it says it succeeded and then I'm going to go ahead and finish and you can see that it uh, took that series of files in this folder here up on the personal cloud and it created a tar ball and then it GPG encrypted it. So I can go ahead and delete this entire folder and go ahead and close this interface. I don't need it anymore, open anymore. All right, and so here's the um, the uh, encrypted uh, document. If I right click on it and try to open it, save with Kate or something, you're going to get a bunch of encrypted stuff. Okay, not going to be able to open it. All right, so if I go ahead and go back up on uh, GPT and um, log into my personal cloud again, all right, and go back into Dan Storage, and uh, I'm going to leave that there for now. Of course, I'm not going to delete it for, at the moment, but uh, let's go ahead and go down to the Documents folder, and here is the encrypted document. Now, this is a not just one file, this is a series of files in a directory. There's a tarball, and I'm going to go ahead and upload that to the cloud. It's already there, so I'm going to overwrite it because I had done this previously. And go ahead and click OK, and it's going to overwrite that file. All right, so this is until I delete that, that's going to be this, it's going to be, remain there, uh, rather. And so here is the document that was placed up there. If I delete the actual folder that's here and place this folder, leave this folder in its place, then this will be encrypted and anybody that is able to gain access to my personal cloud would not be able to get into my 2014 tax return. All right, So that would be a good thing to have. Um, and I may do that, in fact. just wanted to test it, make sure it's working, and then I can and do this uh, all right, before I make any major changes. 
All right, so here's the uh, file that is actually a series of files that we encrypted earlier. So I'm going to go ahead and open up the Cleopatra interface again. I'm going to decrypt this now. And so I'm going to just take the encrypted file, drag it into the interface, and say decrypt. And then uh, it's going to decrypt it automatically. I'm going to say save all, close the Cleopatra interface, and there it is. I'm going to delete that file out of the system here. And then I'm going to go ahead and delete this one here as well. I don't need it anymore. And then I'm going to double click here, and you can see all my documents are returned. Okay. So this works uh, very well and very quickly, actually. And um, I was kind of surprised that it asked me for that password up there because maybe because I unchecked that box, because normally it doesn't require it because it's embedded. And uh, but anyway, I wanted to show you that I've got Cleopatra installed and how I can use it. And I think it's a great little utility. You might want to grab it and put it on your Farron system as well.